to telegraph to the sheriff in Cactus. Tell him Johnny Lawler's in his territory. Get up, Lawler. Take off that gun. I'm on up.
deputy. Get in here, Will. Move the bucket, Molly. A hell of a time to be cleaning. What Molly calls cleaning is moving. Dirt from one side of the jail to the other side. What are you waiting around for? Get on home. Hustle up some grub for a new guest. This fella down here. Go here from Santa Fe. Reckon they'll hang him. Yeah, they're gonna hang you, all right. And you sure? <laughs> I'd give up a year of serious drinking. <laughs> Marvin? Real good, ma'am. For your hands.
Sheriff said for you to get on home. He gave you any trouble? Got a message for the sheriff. It's real important. It's all about that outlaw they captured. What did the outlaw do? Where are you going? Up to Cal Jodes. Tell Pete to relieve Tom down at the jailhouse. Tell Tom to be back there by six. Where's the sheriff? Went out to Cal Jones. Well, damn it! He's supposed to relieve me. Hours ago, I ain't had no chance to clean up or rest up or shave or nothing since we rode out of here. Sheriff says you're supposed to go on home. I'll wait here until he gets back. For you? Me. Well, hell, I don't care. I gotta get on down the road. I'll tell you, if he gives you any trouble, you better holler. You hear?
feeling better. Much obliged. You ain't gonna cover up all that pretty long hair, are you? Put that thing on, I'm walking right out of here. My ma had long hair like you. Fell way down low on her back. Just about the same color, too. In fact, as you favor her a bit. I bet you brush it a whole lot. You live around here, your ma? Oh, she's been gone more than ten years. Oh, she was something else, my ma was. I ain't never seen anybody like her. Except you, maybe. I guess that's why I felt like I knew you right off. Of course, you're a whole lot younger than she was. You're kind of young as they must be real small yet. Got any? No. Oh, you're still young yet. You got plenty of time. Strong, healthy looking woman like you. You ain't any young as yet. It must be that sheriff husband of yours. Hell, I'll bet with a guy like me. Wouldn't take more than one time and we'd. I'm sorry, ma'am. Guess I got carried away a bit. Molly. Pardon? Call me Molly. Oh, Molly. Ain't that a pretty name? My ma's name was Martha. She's the one who named me Johnny after my pa who died before I was born. I guess I've been alone most of my life. After my ma died, I never really found anyone who... Well, now it's too late, ain't it? The sheriff said they was gonna hang me. Well, not for sure. There's gonna be a trial. He said so in the telegraph. Telegraph? The... The judge is coming in from Santa Fe tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah, so they can hang me legal. Well, legal or not, it don't make much difference, does it? What'd you do, me? They can put such a high price on your head. Nothing. Nothing to hang me for. Yeah, sure, I killed a man. They probably told you that. Nobody told me nothing. He was in self-defense. Somebody done in one of his kin. I tried to tell him. I said, Mister, you're making a mistake. But he wouldn't listen. He just went for his gun. There wasn't nothing I could do but go for mine. Well, the judge will believe that. Yeah, he might believe me. If I had a real good reputation. Come from one of the finer families. Had somebody high up to vouch for me. My folks was dirt poor. Ever since my ma passed, I ain't been in one place long enough to make any good friends or build up a reputation. Oh, hell, I don't know. I just keep wandering around looking for... Looking for what? Looking for... Looking for somebody like her, I guess. Just looking.
you see out there? Just a tree. A hanging tree? There was this prisoner once. He was just a boy. Barely into his teens. Puts me a lot in mind of you. He's the only other prisoner ever talked to me except you. He killed a man, they said. They hung him from that tree. I couldn't bear to watch it. When I thought it was all over, I looked up. He was still hanging there. He was... Marvin. The sheriff was out of town at the time. So I used to come over in the evenings and talk to him and try to cheer him up. Poor little boy. He cried himself to sleep every night. You broke my heart. I didn't. It's just you put me in. You want to see what he gave me? I, I, I always keep it with me. He was so like my own. Any blade? Only the tune he taught me. Let me hear it. Oh, I never played it for anybody. I just. That's some of it. Got a pretty tune, isn't it? Never thought I'd be playing it for anybody. Here, I've been talking to you more than I've talked in a long time. What about you and the sheriff? Don't you and he talk? Yes, we talk. Just, he's, uh... Busy with the jailhouse and all. Yeah, well, you sure got a soothing voice. Makes a body feel real good inside. Funny thing is, when I was a young girl, I used to talk a lot. Folks used to say, that Molly, she talks a blue streak. When the boys had come to call that. Never was at a loss for words like some of the girls were. I guess I was just what you'd call a... Good conversationalist. You still are. Well. I bet you had all the boys coming to call. <laughs> That's kind of pretty, then. You still are. I still got my pretty hair. No, I mean it, Molly. You're real pretty. Well, it's getting dark. Guess I better be getting on home before Marvin... before the sheriff comes in from Cal Jodes. Oh, 
Johnny, don't fret about tomorrow. The judge is bound to believe you. I mean, anybody can see. You haven't got a main bone in your body. This has been about the nicest day I ever spent. We've been talking, and I told you things I've never told anybody before, and you've been listening and understanding. Anybody can see you don't deserve to be hung. Like that young boy you told me about didn't deserve to be hung. Oh, Johnny, don't cry. When the thing is, I ain't bawling because he's going to string me up tomorrow. <laughs> Crying because of that. It's on account of you. Me? I feel like after all these years, just, just wondering what happened. It's all on account of you. All day long, it's, it's been in the back of my mind. As motherly as you are, you ain't got any kids. Just ain't been able to get off my mind the thought of us having a little boy. I bet he had a little girl. Since you look like you. Oh, Johnny. How could be just the two of us? Just you and me and a couple of young'uns. Get right out here together and never come back. Find ourselves a little place. <laughs> Polly, they're going to hang me tomorrow. After that, it's going to be too late. Oh, Johnny, I'd like to. I got a good mind to take that key out of that desk and... Do it for the both of us. <laughs> Please. I can't, Johnny. There's my husband. Oh, and... Molly, he ain't your husband. It's just a name you give him. Right out of here with me. And I'll show you what being a husband is. Oh, Johnny, I can't. I can't. All my life I've been taught to obey the law. I can't change that now. Not for you, not for anyone. Molly! Molly! <gasps> I'd wait up so we could talk. Got nothing to talk about. Going to sleep. Remember when we made this picture, Marvin? Not after we were married. Remember what you said? You said next year there'd be another picture, and that there'd be three of us. You said I'd be holding a baby. Go to sleep. Maybe it's not too late for us to have a baby, Marvin. Maybe I'm not too old. I was talking to this squaw woman who cleans up down the saloon. She was telling me about some herb that her people use, and they get Stay it. Stay away from that squaw. Keep your mouth shut about things that are in private. But Marvin, if it works, if I could get give up, Molly. Interesting. Marvin? Turn down the lamp. You gonna hang that boy at the jail? Do you care whether he lives or dies? What's that to you? Well, nothing. It's nothing to me, Marvin. It's just... He is so young, you know. I was thinking... If we'd had a baby then, he'd be about that age, wouldn't he? You've been gabbing with my prisoner, haven't you? Tell him how lonely he gets way out here. No friends, nobody to talk to. Is that kid going to be laughing at me tomorrow on account of you? No, Marvin, he wouldn't laugh at anyone. He couldn't. 
Bastard won't laugh when he starts swinging. go. Thank you. 
Honey, oh no, I can't keep up with you. You go so fast. Can't we rest more often? Some old Sal gave me birth, that's you're talking about. But I never knew which one of them it was. But, I mean, that that you told me back in Cactus. How about your mother and the... Yeah, I had me a whole house full of moths. Ten of the greatest old whores you ever seen. The only one who gave me birth was dead. I always thought it was a boss lady. Damn them ten women was thicker than flies. Had a way all their own. Always protecting each other. Figured if I well, found out which one of them let herself get bloated by a customer, they'd run her out of town. And long before they was all run out of town. But more than thirteenth at the time. Then you haven't, really haven't, had a mother. Oh, Johnny, I'm sorry. No wonder when you saw me, the thought of what you wanted your mother to be came to life. When I saw you, the only thing that came to life was the thought of getting out of that goddamn jailhouse. I was just using you to save my ass. What are you doing? I'm leaving. Like hell you are. Staying here. They're gonna be looking all over for me. Especially they're gonna be watching the border. So I gotta wait here till I can cross over. Till they start forgetting. Well, you don't need me. I need somebody to go into town for supplies, don't I? That ain't likely I can do that with my picture plastered all over hell, is it? Besides that. Where in the hell do you think you're gonna go? You can't go back to Cactus. Not after what you've done. Come here. Well, come here. You run them all off. You sure? I just told you, didn't I?
that for? Shouldn't have done that. Johnny, I thought you liked that tune. You told me back in Cactus you liked it. Isn't anything you said back in Cactus true, Johnny? For two weeks now, you've been asking me that. And I'm going to tell you one more time. No. It was all lies and sweet talk. All of it. But Johnny... God damn it, woman! Just don't ask me again. Indian, all right. What the hell that old squaw's doing out here all alone? Look, it's so funny. Looks like she's gonna have a baby. Yeah. I think she's sick. Leave her be. But, Johnny, she's sick. She's burning up, Johnny. I need some water. Give me some water, quick.
I'm not going to have that baby here. Come on. Can't have a baby here. Help me, Johnny. Johnny, it's a baby boy. She keeps saying something, Johnny. Do you understand her? child, he kicked her out. She finally got back to her people and they didn't want her neither. Count she was carrying a white man's kid. Says she... Come on, we gotta get out of here. I wouldn't put a pass from Apache to come here looking for her. You know, come on, I'm going without you. You ain't planning on taking him with you, are you? We ain't got enough food for the two of us, let alone some squalling brat. Little John won't eat much. Little John. I can't figure out what in the world she was doing down at the jailhouse in the first place. I mean, that, that time of night. I suppose your ma and everybody else is trying to figure that one. Well? Oh, well, my ass, I know what she was doing down there. It ain't nobody else's business. Not damn right, Marvin. Amen. Oh, hell, Tom, now Molly and me, uh, I had words that night. I said some things. Uh, I ended up hurting her. I guess I hurt her pretty bad. So she must have slipped out and went down to the jailhouse to talk, tell somebody. Or nobody to talk to but that Lawler fella. That bastard Lawler took advantage of her, trusted as she was. You know something, Tom? I miss her. I never thought I would. But I miss her. Oh. 
If you hadn't thrown my harmonica away, I could have played it to sleep. Yeah, well, your harmonica playing any better than your singing. I wish I had some milk for him. Baby's gotta have milk. Isn't there some place where we can get some? Yeah, we ain't far from Cerrillos. Thinking maybe I'd send you in there tomorrow. Not for milk. But the baby's gotta eat, Johnny. Can you find something else for him to eat? Milk wouldn't last an hour out here. I wish I had the milk for him. I read somewhere, if a baby doesn't start out with his mother's milk, it turns out like... Like me? I didn't say that. You were thinking it. Thinking maybe if I had myself a real ma, it turned out to be something respectable? Instead of hiding out from the law? Man's gotta have love, Johnny. You're all like... Every one of you. Always trying to change a man. That there has never been one that's loved you and stayed with you like I have. I there. I know what you said back in Cactus wasn't true. But the way you said it, like you wanted it to be true. Like you really wished you had a ma that favored me. Oh, God damn it, woman, you stink. Oh, John. We had some water back there. Why the hell didn't you use it? Afraid maybe I'd look? Afraid maybe I'd get a good peek of you sitting there naked in that water? Let's get a little peek right now. Now, Johnny, I'll... stop that. Now, don't do that! <laughs> what do you mean? Johnny! What water we come to, I'm oh, throwing you in. Johnny, stop! I wish we could stop someplace long enough to get him some milk. You know, that stuff I bought in Cereals is almost gone. Little Johnny eats the corn mush and oatmeal as fast as I can fix it. You know, we hadn't in the Las Cruces one of these days. Johnny. Yeah. When you go across the border, you're taking me with you, aren't you? Johnny, don't you hurt him? 
Johnny. You punish her woman for cheating on a man. She was pulling at my hair. Will you tell her to stop? You watch that old dumb problem. I am empty, ne? Huh? Hey, Cecilia, Nia, can we hot you go? Stop, can we eat? Huh? She's scalping me, Johnny! Shut up! Stop! Stop her! Shut She's up. scalping she won't hurt me! You. The whole damn camp in here now. Shut up. God. Wait a minute, I gotta get the baby. I gotta get little John. Part of the bargain. I'm not going without him. I'm not going without him. All right, stick with the little bastard. Give me the baby. Give me the baby.
nothing you can do. He's dead. Molly, how about a bite old Noah? I wish you hadn't cut up Noah that way. Woman, that mangy nag ears wasn't no good anyway. Apparently he dropped right out money, you, didn't he? You should have helped me bury Noah, Johnny. I can't get the picture of him all cut up out of my mind. Damn thing didn't even taste no good. You shouldn't have let that squaw cut my hair, Johnny. You're lucky as hell that squaw didn't cut more off you than that hair. Too damn hot with that stuff hanging on your back anyway. Can't we rest a while? I'm thirsty. Get off. I said, get off!
hide inside like this. Does anybody live here? Again, what I'm supposed to do when I get to Las Cruces, Johnny. I already told you three times, ain't I? Well, I want to make sure I don't want to do anything wrong. Just do what I told you and don't talk to nobody and nothing will go wrong. I'm even sure I can find Las Cruces. What if I get lost? Damn it, woman, I already told you that too, now, ain't I? I said I'm going to leave you halfway. You'll be sure and take care of little Johnny while I'm gone. Make sure he doesn't get hungry, okay? Yeah, I'll take care of him. Shut that door! Dolly? I'm looking for Dolly Windward. Who wants me? I ain't got all day. Now, come on, I gotta get back to the store. Hold your horses. What do you want? I'm carrying a message for you. You've got a message for me? From who? Johnny Lawler. What's going on? 
going on. Why don't you suit up and get the hell out of here? But Johnny, what are you doing with that other woman? She ain't even as pretty as I am. I don't need that gal to get me across the border. Ain't nobody inspect a man's toting an old bag wife like that and a kid. Well, what are you going to do with her? Well, I bet she'll just be on her own.
John, I baptize thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless and preserve and keep thee as his own this day and forever. See anything? You better get mounted up. We gotta get across that border. Talk to anybody? Tell someone where I was? No. Maybe it was Dolly. Not Dolly. She wouldn't do that. You got any other ideas? <laughs> Took that papoose with you, didn't you? Baptized. To what? To have him baptized in case anything happened to him. In case I heard him, you mean? That minister pours water on that kid. They gotta have a name, don't he? <laughs> don't he? Well, 
the names you've given. I said, what name did you give him? Yours! Little Johnny Lawler. You dumb bitch. You let that goddamn posse write to me, didn't you? I didn't mean to. The Reverend just asked me to write in a book. I just wanted him baptized so... So the little bastard can go to heaven. That's where he's going right now. Goddamn baboose has been nothing but trouble us since the day that squaw born him. Now get him over here. God damn it, woman! I said get him over here! I tell you one more time. Bring that son of a bitch here. Now! You, Johnny. This is the body of Johnny Lawler. He held me captive, forced me to escape with him. <coughs> this here's my baby. I named Marvin. Spud, you get on over and send a telegraph to Santa Fe. You tell him I got Johnny Lawler's body here and I want my $2,000 reward. Get. Yeah, yes, ma'am.
A swallow 